Political opposition in the Republic of Congo say they've been cheated. The Electoral Commission said President Denny Sassou Nguesso won with nearly 90% of the vote. Congo is not a democracy. You can see what happened. Congo is a dictatorship, pure and simple. Presidential polls were on Sunday. Results were announced two days later. The supporters here don't believe the results, but also many of them say that they're not surprised. Some other opposition candidates boycotted the elections entirely. Two others who ran in the last election are in jail serving sentences of 20 years forced labour that they were given after challenging the results of the last election. Guy Brice Parfait Colelas, the most prominent opposition candidate, is dead. It was announced just after voting he tested positive for Covid. Many of his supporters think he was poisoned. His party officials say they've discovered widespread irregularities, like polling stations where the president won more than six times as many votes as there were people voting. Le bureau politique de l'Union des démocrates humanistes Yuki. The Union of Humanist Democracies strongly rejects these results as a whole and invites the Constitutional Court to do the same. Denis Sassou Nguesso has ruled for most of the last 40 years. A French public relations company ran his campaign, along with the Minister for Education, who told us the President's past record and charisma won him the vote. Can you say there is no democracy? I think that those who are saying that are just in need of consoling themselves because they are not able to win an election. People complained of irregularities during the voting. Here, dozens of armed police came when opposition supporters said a ruling party official was ballot stuffing. Many opposition politicians and rights activists said there was never a chance of a democratic process in the first place. Every sector of the country is just not working. Healthcare, uh, human rights violation. Like I told you, some leaders are in jail. So who's going to be happy and vote for 88 percent? No, it doesn't make sense. Many people we spoke to here say they wanted change. It looks like they won't get it. Malcolm Webb, Al Jazeera, Brazzaville, Republic of Congo.